So at noon today, uh, March 24th, 2020, my governor, uh, Charlie Baker, he issued uh, basically a declaration that all non-essential businesses must close. And this is in response to attempting to flatten the curve, socially distance. Basically, folks are still able to kind of get out, go out for a walk and stuff like that, walk your dogs and everything, uh, while at the same time, uh, trying to minimize, like, if you ever go to the grocery store, go to the grocery store. That's the thing. We're going to keep essential services and manufacturing related to personal protective equipment and whatnot uh, going as well. But we're taking a couple of weeks to try to minimize uh, and flatten that curve. So, but this was actually a question during his press conference today that I, I think is very important because we seem to literally be in a quote unquote infodemic at this time. So, Governor Baker, go ahead. No, we're probably, I don't know, it, it depends upon what comes in, but um, we're not there yet, but that's where we need to get to. Governor, you mentioned that you would be announcing something for renters and homeowners in the coming days. Obviously, April 1st is coming up. Yeah. When is that going to be coming out? And second, would you be supporting any sort of state economic aid package in addition to what is being debated at the federal level? Good question. Well, first of all, um, it's very hard for states to make decisions if they don't know what the feds are doing. Um, which is why I think it's so important for the, and by the way, cities and towns feel the same way, um, which is why it's so important for the feds to decide what it is they are going to do and to do it. Certainty and clarity from the federal government on many of these issues is sort of a bulwark to our ability to make decisions about what we can do at the state level. Um, remind me again what the first part of the question was. Oh, um, well, I would just start by reminding. As we can see, Governor Baker would seem to be reserved, stoic, but seem to have a certain level of passion about that as well. Because here's the thing, it's like, okay, we are these United States of America, and I'll be straight up, there's certain things, and whether it was uh, Speaker Pelosi's version or Senator McConnell's version or whatnot, I'm like, th there seem to be some good ideas in there. There are other things that even I would likely support where I question, is this the best thing here? Do we have certain... Uh, procedures and or protocols in place within said legislation to make sure that we have more, let's say, proper activity, the funding of actual services, people being able to just pay their bills to just kind of get along there for a little bit there. But at the same time, I also understand you don't want to necessarily handicap businesses and depending on how you do it, you want them to have a certain level of flexibility as well. Um, I, I don't really think it's the worst thing for us to get more fuel efficient uh, planes and everything but then again I think there might be a better time place and here's the thing man this affects everybody we are watching we're watching our elected officials we're watching each other right now is the thing we could we could go around all day long and just be like me 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 this then that and the other thing and just trying to posture earn some internet points and everything but wise man once said that's not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. And I think this applies to everyone. And I think it would duly apply for our elected officials. Governor Baker, continue your, your thoughts. I everybody that in Massachusetts, um, mortgagers have a 90-day period to cure, renters have a 60-day period to cure, and you can't foreclose and you can't evict without going to court. And as of right now, the courts don't plan to be open until the sort of middle of April. I think it's around the 21st of April that they've talked about re, uh, to, to cure, but happen. at the same but time, also had conversations folks aren't working. in the legislature about this issue and, um, and are currently engaging them um, in discussions about what else we might do. Uh, I don't think it makes sense necessarily for us to file legislation given how difficult it is at this point to engage the legislative process, um, especially I'm going to, to tell the legislation. The legislature wants to work on. So there's a back and forth going on between uh, our administration, the House and the Senate uh, to come up with some additional strategies to deal with homeowner, home, homeowners and renters. But I would start with the fundamental People's premise homes. that in Massachusetts, under existing state law, 90 days to cure on mortgages, 
60 days to cure on rents. That's the law, and we are going to enforce it. And I know other state agencies, law. and I know many local uh, officials feel the same way about that. I'm oh, sorry. There's a conversation that's going on between us and the legislature about this. All issue. right, so the governor is still going on into uh, the other things there. I just wanted to pop over to this article real here real quick. And this was something that uh, Governor Baker had said at one point earlier as well. And as we can see from the title, this is brought to us by NBC Boston. Uh, appalling Governor Baker blast partisan bickering over coronavirus response in D.C. So... He had spoke just a couple hours ago, so as so we can see, Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker blasted federal lawmakers in the White House on Tuesday for their appalling behavior in Washington, D.C., which he said has delayed efforts to approve a $2 trillion coronavirus rescue package. And that's kind of what he was referring to. It's like, okay, the states, yeah, I believe we actually declared a, uh, what was it, a state of emergency plus, I believe it was federal disaster assistance. A number of these things have been filed. I believe New York, California, I believe they have. I believe uh, Governor Baker had as well, perhaps the other day. Um, that opens uh, you up to federal funding and stuff too. So that's money going towards the states for relief efforts. Whereas if you know what the federal package is and you're like, okay, our citizens, we're going to get money going here, here, here federally, you can better custom tailor your solution based upon the information. But until we have the information, it's kind of like w within the greater financial markets and stuff. Are we going to invest in this orange crop and stuff? Well, do we do we have numbers and stuff like that? What is the demand? Uh, do we have new products and stuff like that? Like where are additional markets? Are? These are multi-factor analysis and this is this is not easy stuff. That's why we elect these folks and everything. But and again, we are paying attention and if you're going to do something, you can't make everyone happy. But the thing is, as long as you can explain your work, this is the standard we hold our children to. I, I don't think it's an unreasonable thing to hold our elected officials to. So moving on. Uh, so, yeah, basically he gave us the updates. And what he's saying is, make a deal, he added. I think it's critical that these folks find a way to, yes, that's the thing. People need to know what's going on so they can plan for their lives. And we've heard, again, top congressional and White House officials say they expect to reach a deal Tuesday on the measure. So hopefully their workday goes through whenever this evening, early afternoon, maybe now, maybe in a few hours. Hopefully we'll have something. And uh, Baker also announced the launch of a new statewide coronavirus text message alert system on Tuesday. Residents who want to receive alerts can text COVIDMA to 888-777 to sign up. And he also says, like, basically not trying to blast us with all these updates. They're trying to basically make sure it's coming from a trusted source, professionals and stuff. Because you see all this stuff out there, and it's like, well, what, what do you believe? I'm just hearing articles. It's like, this thing the president's talking about saved this person's life. I'm like, that's cool. That's amazing. And also I'm hearing, this same chemical the president said ended up taking this person's life. It's like, that's terrible and everything. What's happened? Oh, well, it was a similar chemical that's used to clean fish tanks and everything. And you're getting all these things. And people are so angry and scared right now. It's like, we need a certain level of certainty. And like, do I agree with Governor Baker on everything? No, I don't agree with everybody on everything. That's the thing. We're all individuals. Uh, but basically what they're saying... Uh, as we said, uh, basically today on Monday, Baker had ordered all non-essential businesses to close to the public for two weeks starting Tuesday and issued a stay-at-home advisory in response to the ongoing coronavirus crisis. So basically, we're going to be shut down until April 7th. And we're going to see what happens, still practice the things, you can still go outside as well. Also within the article, um, medical marijuana facilities shall remain open. So if you have your actual medical marijuana card. You can go to the said dispensaries. If you do not have said card, the recreational dispensaries will be closed. I believe at least the one around here it was a medical and recreational. Um, but basically, as far as I understand, you're basically going to need to have an active card. Basically, the $200 a year or whatever it is now paid to the state. If you have that, you can still access the dispensary. But again, they're going to be trying to do smart things like social distancing. And that's the thing. Just... Just try not to get too, too close to folks like that. If somebody seems sick, I mean, people did stuff like this anyway. It's, 
That's the thing. We're not trying to be rude. We're just trying to basically flatten that curve because I think most folks will get sick at one point or another. And as long as we have the resources to take care of it, I think we're gonna be we're gonna be fine. I mean, it's gonna be rough, but I I believe in us. So hey, thank you all for watching. Those that uh, tune in and get to this part, peace out. Be safe, everybody, and long live the Elbow Bump.